Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Minecraft 1.14 pre-release number 4. And today guys, we got a release date announced for Minecraft 1.14. The release date is Tuesday, April 23rd, so 6 days from today. And yeah, uh, hopefully that release date can hold. Uh, I'm going to be showing some bugs here which I think probably should be fixed before release for a number of different reasons. Um, but yeah, very exciting to actually have a release date now in sight. Uh, I think the update is getting to the point where it's almost ready to release, but I'm going to show a couple of things today which are, um, yeah, a little bit troublesome, I guess, and some that definitely should be fixed before release. Also, we happened upon a zombified village here. How, is, how cool is that? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, today we'll be showing some of the uh, pre-release fixes and pre-release uh, changes, which there are a few of, and uh, yeah, there are a lot of bug fixes as well that have already been done. Uh, and then we're going to go over some bugs uh, that need to be fixed before release, in my view. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so we're starting off today with a bug fix from the pre-release 2 snapshot, which is really great. So now if you enchant an item like so, you can see I have a 12 enchantment cost here. And then you take off the enchantments in the grindstone, like this. Not only do you get the XP back, but the... Uh, additional cost to uh, now re-enchant your tool or your weapon or what have you uh, is now also reset. So now if I put in another book, you see it it goes back to a uh, very low level uh, enchantment. And I can then put in more enchantments from that. So yeah, before that didn't reset. So I would have, you know, like the next enchant I put on it would be like 18 or 20 or so. Um, so that's a great uh, quality of life improvement right there. Also, since we found this zombie village, uh, it's probably a good idea to let you guys know that the zombie villagers will now all have the biome correct skin. So you can see these guys have the plains zombie villager skin, so that's pretty nice. One bug fix which was added in pre-release 3 is that skeletons will now prioritize attacking the player over burning in the sunlight. So you'll see here this skeleton, he's burning but he continues to shoot me. Um, so yeah, they actually will choose death and to at attack the player rather than to <laughs> seek shelter and save themselves. So yeah, they become a little bit more deadly in that regard. Also in pre-release 3, they fixed the golems and villagers wandering off uh, from their villages. So yeah, essentially in the morning time, the villagers sort of can sometimes wander. And sometimes that would basically uh, cause them to get really far away and then they just keep wandering uh, as they got further and further away. And same thing with the golem. The golem would occasionally wander outside of the village, which got to be kind of annoying when there, uh, you know, was raids or if there was uh, zombies coming in at night. So that has now been fixed, and the villagers and the golem should now be a little bit more anchored to the village. Another bug that was fixed in the recent update is that the hero of the village effect, if naturally obtained, no longer has the player emitting particles. So you can see I clearly have the hero of the village effect, and the people are throwing stuff at me. There's a cookie on the ground. Right there that somebody threw me. Uh, and I'm not emitting particles. Animals now have no problem getting out of water like they did previously. So if I have some wheat here, you see this cow easily hops on out. Whereas before he would get sort of stuck on this block. So that is also a good change. There are two new advancements that have been added in the pre-releases here. Uh, one of which is one you've already seen me get. Uh, that is the Hero of the Village advancement. Uh, which you get from successfully defending a village from a raid. And prior to this one, there's also another new advancement if you kill one of these pillager captains, uh, which I'm going to do right here. And you'll see if I do that, I get the advancement Voluntary Exile, uh, where you can, yeah, kill a raid captain, and then it tells you maybe consider staying away from villages for the time being. So, yeah, that's what you get for killing a raid captain. You can now disenchant books using the grindstone, so you see here it takes off the enchantment from that. However, the cursed books, you still cannot take off the curses in the grindstone. So I just want to say real quickly here that there were several dozen more bug fixes between pre-releases 2, 3, and 4, and you guys should definitely check out the changelog in the description below. However, because pre-release 4 is actually allegedly the final pre-release for this 1.14 update, uh, I feel like it's necessary for me to go through and show and talk about some of the worst bugs that are still in 1.14. Uh, just because I thought that these would have a pretty high priority as some of them are kind of nasty. So we're now going to jump into bugs yet to be fixed in this update. I do want to say before I begin, all the links to these bugs will be in the description. So please go and upvote them if you want these to be fixed before 1.14. 
Uh, hopefully they can get to all of them, or at least some of the uh, the worst ones that I'll show here. But we're going to start off with a basic one. This is MC140174. There's no item pickup sound when a villager picks up an item. So if I throw this at this guy... Yep, he picked it up, and there was just no sound. So, super small bug, but yeah, it'd be nice to see that one fixed. Next bug is MC148165, and this bug is basically if you shoot a TNT with a flame bow on the top of it, it doesn't explode. So, yeah, if you shoot TNT on the top of it, it doesn't explode. If you shoot it on the side, you'll see it still works. So, the issue is just with the top of the TNT. And hopefully this one is fixed before the update because, yeah, TNT now drops 100% of the blocks. So people are going to want to get some TNT going and obviously we'll use flame bows to ignite it from a distance. So hopefully this bug is fixed. Next up is another minor bug that has to do with the grindstone. If you go into a grindstone and try to take a enchantment off of a sword, you'll see that the name stays. Uh, so literally this is named Name Stays and it stays with the sword. Uh, even after you take off the enchantments. However, uh, you'll see this one, the name is actually taken off. So this is named, name is removed, and here it has no name. So it just goes back to being an ordinary book. So the name does not persist when you take enchantments off books, uh, which is a minor inconsistency uh, compared to the swords and the weapons and tools and stuff. Next up, we have MC147013. Villagers can be hit by their own fireworks. So basically... If you defeat a raid and the villagers start to shoot off fireworks, uh, they'll check if they have a solid block above them. Uh, but if it happens to be a transparent block, like glass for instance, uh, we should see that these villagers actually can shoot off fireworks and damage themselves uh, inside of this little space here. So let me start a raid and we'll see if when we win, uh, if these guys harm themselves with fireworks. Alright, so this should be it. This should be a win right here for us. Yep, okay, and, yep, you can see right here the problem. Yep, the villagers, yeah, they killed themselves with fireworks, so, yeah, that uh, might need to be fixed, especially if you had, like, a player-built structure with glass on it with villagers inside a building. That would be kind of annoying if, you know, if the villagers died or, you know, harmed themselves or some in some way. Uh, but, yeah, again, that's sort of a minor issue. I think that can be pretty easily fixed. Next bug is MC146805, which has to do with the Trader Llamas, which you can see right here. Basically, they don't defend the Wandering Trader very well anymore, uh, because they don't actually shoot at husks or drown or zombies. Um, and, yeah, they're supposed to. So, yeah, these guys are supposed to be spitting at these, these husks and these zombies, but you can see, yeah, none of these Trader Llamas here I've spawned in are actually doing so. They're just sort of acting like normal llamas, basically. So, yeah, that is a bug that needs to be fixed before the update to help better defend the wandering trader. So the next bug I want to showcase is MC117914. Uh, entities crossing dimensions through nether portal causes tremendous lag. So you can see I have a little clock going here, and if I throw something through the nether portal... Look at that! Look at that! That's insane! That's insane lag! That is craziness. So, yeah, check it out. If I go ahead and just do... Uh, Alt F3. You can see that giant red spike right there. That was the uh, the holdup in the server. So like if I do it again here, you'll see. Watch what happens when this thing disappears. Boom! Giant red line. The piston freezes for like a solid second. It's just total... It's total chaos. Let's see if I can get another one in there. Yep, it froze again. Yep, right there. Oh man, look at that. That is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. And then it has to hurry to catch up as you just saw right there. So... That is pretty much game breaking. It also works when players go through the portal, just to show you. So, this needs to be fixed before multiplayer is. Yeah, that man, that's really that's a really big lag spike when entities go through portals. So hopefully we see this one fixed. Uh, again, upvote uh, the bug in the description, and hopefully we'll see it fixed. All right, guys. So next bug I want to talk about is MC147880, and basically this bug has to do with pillager outposts not generating at all in snowy biomes, uh, despite the fact that villages can generate there. So to demonstrate that here uh, in game, I will show you how close a pillager outpost is here. So we're going to locate pillager outpost. So you'll see 
One is 608 blocks away, which is perfectly in line with what we know about pillager outposts. Uh, you can basically find those between 100 and 1500 blocks away from villages typically. Uh, and now we're going to go to a snowy biome, so we're going to do locate igloo. Should be quite a distance away, yep, 3000 blocks away. And then we're going to find the nearest village, which we... is this a village? Nope, we didn't. We found an igloo. Of course, of course we did. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and locate the village though. Should be somewhat nearby. Okay, cool. So we'll locate this village. We'll go there and then we'll take a look and see um, basically where the nearest pillager outpost is. So let's see, locate pillager outpost. And you'll see it's 2,094 blocks away. And if we go to it, it's not going to be in the snowy biome because they can't generate in snowy biomes. So, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this is actually the pillager outpost, which is connected to another village probably a desert village somewhere around here. Um, so yeah, that is a problem. So yeah, hopefully we see the pillager outposts generate properly in the snowy biomes uh, very soon. So yeah, do go ahead and upvote that one on the bug tracker. Next up we have MC147989. Uh, lots of village structures are not generating naturally despite having a jigsaw block. So basically what this means is that uh, some village structures like the large plains library and the uh, the, the fisherman's cottage uh, are not generating in villages, which to be honest would be a shame if it made it into the main update because yeah, having the village and pillage update with yeah, less village structures and less village professions represented would be uh, not a good thing. So hopefully this one gets fixed or at least looked into as well. Next up, we have MC125351. Uh, some blocks still show air around them when surrounded by water or cannot be waterlogged. So Basically what this means, uh, this shulker box is a perfect example of this bug. So, yeah, the top of the shulker box underwater looks fine, looks great. Side of the shulker box, you can still see water streaking. Um, this despite the fact that, yeah, we're now many months after the release of Update Aquatic, and this issue still has not been addressed. Uh, it's not a huge issue, but it is kind of annoying that this has not been addressed. Uh, and then there's also all the other blocks that can't be waterlogged still. So, for instance, like, fence gates can't be waterlogged, which is somewhat annoying. Um, especially when fences can be, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, doors can't be waterlogged. Uh, these also generate in shipwrecks, which makes the shipwrecks a lot easier to explore. Uh, which I don't think is intended, because you can have, like, a little breathing pocket right in here, and you can open and close this thing, and whatnot so I don't think that is intended but again still can't waterlog it if I were to hold shift right click on it uh, enchanting table can't be waterlogged cake can't be waterlogged daylight detector can't be waterlogged despite the campfire being able to be waterlogged which you know if you think you know if you can do this one you can probably do some other ones like these um, but yeah there's a lot of other blocks that also can't be waterlogged ton of other blocks but uh, I was hoping to have at least some progress toward more blocks being able to be waterlogged underwater uh, because, like I said, the update aquatic has already passed, so I feel like, you know, making a little bit of progress each update on these waterloggable blocks would be nice, but, uh, again, uh, I don't write the game, so hopefully these bugs can somewhat be addressed in the uh, coming updates, uh, especially some of the worst ones with the village generation stuff and the nether portal thing. Um, so do try to upvote as many of these as you can, uh, as hopefully we can get some of them fixed, or at least some progress towards some of them being fixed uh, before the 114 release. Anyways, guys, um, I am looking forward to the 114 release, despite some of these bugs I've shown today. I think it's going to be an awesome update, and there's a lot of really, really great features which I'm looking forward to playing with. So anyways, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and as always, thanks again for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.